Good evening, I'm Dan Hagen. And I'm Jessica Jukage. Late last night, the residents of Rib Mountain officially voted to change their classification from a town to a village. Our own Ellie Skelly is here to break down exactly what this means. Ellie? Thanks, Dan and Jessica. Now, if you're like me, the difference between a town and a village is just a few letters. But for Rib Mountain, this distinction is actually incredibly important. Now, the key difference comes down to a matter of incorporation. As a town, Rib Mountain was an unincorporated community that was subject to state law. This means that their municipal functions were limited by state governance and that their borders were subject to annexation from bigger neighboring communities, like Wausau. This could mean that the citizens of Rib Mountain could be subjected to decisions made in Wausau for Wausau, like an increase in taxes. Villages, on the other hand, are considered an autonomous incorporated area, meaning that they are able to more freely govern themselves, which means Rib Mountain can make more decisions for itself. The biggest change is, is the fact that we get to determine our own destiny. As a village, uh, your borders are protected, and so therefore no annexations can happen from those who are considered incorporated. Now, voters overwhelmingly chose to make Rib Mountain a village, with around 1,200 votes for and 100 against. Rib Mountain officials hope that this change will solidify the official existence of their community. Rib Mountain resident means a lot, and so you continue with that. And when people ask you, where do you live, you can say, I live in Rib Mountain. I live in Rib Mountain, Wisconsin. Now, the ink hasn't dried yet, Rim Mountain officials are still waiting on approval from the state. They expect everything to be final by the end of the summer. We will continue to monitor this story as the process continues to unfold.